In this video we'll learn how to power tap a blind hole on a manual lathe. In this video we're going to use spiral taps which are ideally suited to this kind of operation. You might have seen them used in the CNC tapping video that I produced a while ago. Now this video I recorded just before I finished working as an engineering lecturer at the local college and I managed to capture some footage of our engineering technician explain to a student in his own inimitable way how to do some power tapping on a lathe so I hope you find this useful. Yep, bottom speed, okay. In the chuck, chuck's tight, right? Mm -hmm. Now the thing you do here is you do not, you listen? Yep. You do not fasten the tail stop down. Okay. Okay. All right, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Okay. So I've got the end of the thing on there. I've got lubricant on here. Yeah. This is the way. There's no tool in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Because you're going dead slow, you won't need coolant. All right. If you're doing stainless, you might need. Yeah. All right. Okay. One finger. All right. If I do that now. Pulling that in. Mm -hmm. Okay, get your hand on the right. stop the machine. Yeah. Out and reverse. That's the difference between using a hand tap. Ordinarily, you would use them in the CNC environment, okay? In the CNC, you put them in the tapping head, it's <laughs> straight in, all right? We're doing it dead slow because obviously we need to be in control. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're doing what's known as a blind hole, which is a hole to a certain depth, okay? Yeah. All right? So you need to be in control, but you're not familiar with this kind of thing. No. But, so slow the better, okay? So hopefully that was useful and if you do a bit of manual turning and lathe work yourself then try this project which is an optical dot punch that you can make yourself fairly easily at home. So do like, subscribe and comment and check out the playlist for the optical dot punch project and we'll see you in the next video.